Hello and welcome back. Once again, in my E50M. Uh, not because I get a, in surprising, a surprising amount of good games in it, or because I'm any good at it, but because Let's get this, um, show on the road. this was a decent game on a map that I only had a couple of times. And I'm hoping you will find it entertaining. Uh, I don't really care if you think it's entertaining or not. It'd be nice. That's generally what YouTube is used for. To entertain. Or educate. I highly recommend uh, going and checking out YouTube course. Their YouTube channel, Crash Course. Um, I suppose I could put a link to it in the video description. Why did I remember that I've said this at the time I post? Because I'm recording this well in advance. 8.9 is coming out around the corner or by the time this is up will have been out because I don't have a lot of time to do the recordings at the moment so I'm kind of doing a bunch of them all at once and then releasing them over a period of time onto YouTube so uh, if there isn't a link in the description and uh, hopefully I remember put one in there just go on YouTube and search up Crash Course it shouldn't really be that hard to do uh, it's a great channel, very educational, and very fun and entertaining, all at the same time. Unlike my videos, which are usually just good for a couple of laughs at my idiocy. So, playing the Northwest map, which is a new map. I've been spotted. Six cents going off there. I'm like, okay, time to get out of here. Back up a little bit. Make sure that my strongest armor is facing forward. Take a bounce there, put a shot in, try to back up, but road, and this guy gets in my way, and he just doesn't give a shit that I am being shot at from all angles. Thank you, K-Bear. I have never had good relations with your clan. I've yet to meet a player from K-Bear who gives a shit about anybody other than him. So, after frothing at the mouth in rage while trying to back up, I get them out of there. And as far back from the front line as I can. Probably my fault for getting in his way. He is, after all, driving a Fosh 1x5, whereas I'm only in an E50M. Silly new player, not knowing who the Unicums are. Ah. Uh, going to do what kind of long-range work I can do, because this gun is very good at doing that. Oh. Did that Fosh die? Oh, he did. My most utter sympathies, good sir. You were a valiant teammate. Wait. Teammate? Oh, I'm not sure if that's quite the right definition. I suppose technically he was. More typical hobbit shots there. Track damage, track damage. Didn't penetrate, track damage. Oh, that one went through. Okay. That's the hobbit for you. I hit the target, but I can't guarantee it'll actually hit the target in the spot I'm intending to hit. That, one didn't go that shot goes high to the right, hits the cheek of the IS-4, and does nothing. <sighs> and... That one goes somewhere other than where I aimed. Like a lot of them do. So. That one goes off to the left and hits the tracks. It's no longer being spotted. Good times, good times. Yeah. This is going to be the last uh, 8.9 replay I put up. Like I stated in an earlier video, I have not been playing all that much. Uh, I did not play a lot of games in patch 8.9. Or did I? Maybe I did. How long was patch 8.9 out? I'm not sure. If it was up for more than a couple of months, I did actually play a fair bit. Um, I can't remember, so I'm not going to make any statements. During that drought, I've been playing a couple other games. A uh, bit of Borderlands 2. 
uh, Portal, Portal 2. Actually, I bought Portal and Portal 2 in the last Steam sale. And uh, tried to power through Portal so I could get on the Portal 2. And I'm enjoying them. They're good. I, f I finished Portal, actually. So, enjoying Portal 2. So, back to the game at hand. So I'm not I'm not playing Portal 2 right now. This is where the tanks. It's a T62A. I thought he'd be sneaky and slip through the back. Uh, like, let's see, back alley. Slip through the lower road here. So I'm moving down to intercept because with the health I have, I'm not expected. I'm not expecting to survive. Just delay. Uh, once again, my expectations are turned against me, and I do okay here. Expect the unexpected, but as soon as you expect the unexpected, it becomes the expected, and it's not going to happen. That's what seems to happen for me. So, going to make a dash here to save this. Uh, I believe it's a tier 8 heavy. Get the T62A, or whatever it was. Yes. Save the VK. Every ally is a good ally to have alive, unless they prove to be an asshole. But he has not shown to be an asshole, so I'm going to keep him around. As long as I can. At the very least, he can serve as a meat shield later. So, moving up through the center part of the map that I'd never been to before, so this was all new for me. I really should check these out on the test server, but that takes effort. Ugh. In case you haven't noticed by now, I'm rather lazy. Our tortoise has gotten stuck just over there somewhere. Tanking it. There, yeah. He's stuck. <laughs> Hello, Mr. ISF. I will shoot the dirt around you to alert you to my presence. Because I am pro like that. I want to win in a fair fight. You must know where I am. <laughs> I'm not very good at tanks. So I'm backing up because he's got tank destroy support and possibly other tanks that I don't want to have to deal with and hello don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me I need help somebody anybody oh, he just got hit by something probably artillery I'm waiting, waiting, waiting Oop. ouch ouch, that was not fun the egg tiger Egg Tiger takes him out. Okay. And he gets dropped by the IS-3 up on the hill. I'm at 22 health. Hmm. Not interested. I'm going to go a long way around and avoid looking at anybody directly down the barrel. So. It's 11 to 9. Uh, we're winning. Not by much. Although we do have more tier 10s alive at this point. They have a Leopard and a T1NE3. We have myself, although just barely, artillery, and the Doom Cannon, the Eggpanzer E100. He's moving up. He's doing some spotting, so I'm going to move up and see what I can do about that. We also have a tier 9 tank destroyer because this guy's stuck. I'm not going to count him. Uh, take out the IS-3 and then get the hell out of anybody's line of sight. Because high explosive will kill me at this point. Although they would have to have high explosive loaded. And if they fired armor piercing at me, just the right angle, it would bounce. Don't count on it. That's a bad idea. Okay. We'll stay in cover. And wait for other people to move up and take shots. Okay. Hopefully this has been entertaining so far. Uh, I certainly had a blast playing. After getting over my initial anger at Jerkface up there. Alright, I'm going to move over to the far side of the road here where I have the hills on the enemy side. I can get in under over here. And be safe-ish. You're never really safe. I don't want that Yag Panzer 100 they're going in, going in there alone. But at the same time, we don't know where they are. They might have a good view of this valley. 
and I would not like to be shot at. So, keeping an eye out for things while trying to stay in cover. Waiting to see how things develop. Uh, the Eggman G100 now has moved very close to the base. He's past the point of no return. So, I'm going to sit around like a coward for a little while. There's a lot of ground for me to cover. But I haven't been spotted yet. And he's getting very close to the base. So I'm going to move up uh, on the off chance that I can support him. I haven't suffered any major critical damage yet, so that's a plus. It's proved that this is a safe approach, so I'm going to follow suit and drive up here. Keeping an eye out. Enemies. There's one. There's two. Where's three? I don't know. Can we move over far enough to get a shot. Oh, there's the weird turret of the Leopard 1. Kill number 3. Which is good. Now we're going to move into a position where the IS-8 has no shot on us. And continue approaching. Don't really want to drive down that cliff though. So. There he is. He's just been taken out by the Yag Tiger. So there's three of us on three kills, which is good. Now they have a T-110E3 left. Uh, not too keen on being the first one to find him, but I've gotten this far already, so it's time to take my brave pills. And continue moving up. Don't spot anyone. Our VKs made it this far without being killed. Uh, the E3's probably in this vicinity, and he's probably hurt if he's not just running out trying to slap us all. So, going to take the long way around in case he's hiding behind a house. And, uh, moving into cap with the two TDs. Uh, instead of hiding at the back of the cap, I want to. Make sure we spot him first, and uh, since a moving tank has worse camo than a stationary tank, and he is bigger than me, I'm expecting to spot him first. So I feel fairly safe sitting up front. Um, but we capture the base for an okay victory. It wasn't easy, uh, but it wasn't particularly difficult. Until next time, have a good one.